If you're like me and you look at camera monitors and think, all that money for a small five inch screen? I wonder if there's a way to get a similar result using things that I already own. Insert the app called Orion. Here's what you'll need to get started. You'll need an HDMI to USB adapter. The one I have here is a full size USB. I bought this a few years ago to use with my computer when I thought video game streaming would be a fun thing to do. This adapter takes the HDMI signal from your camera and puts it into the recording device. In this case, I'm using my iPad Air 4, so I have a USB-C dongle that I'm running the HDMI feed into. This also allows you to power the iPad with USB while you're using it as an external monitor for your camera. Then you need the Orion app. This app has a one-time fee of $5 to unlock some additional features that I found to be well worth it. It's simple, it's easy to use, it's basically plug and play. You plug in your video adapter, you plug in the USB-C adapter into the iPad, you launch it, you get the other end hooked up to your camera, and you're ready to go. Now, this doesn't do everything that a camera monitor would do. It doesn't enable raw external recording. You don't have custom LUTs that you can load onto the thing. You don't get false color or zebras or anything like that unless you have those enabled on your camera. But for five bucks, and if you didn't have any of these adapters, you're probably gonna be in it for 35 bucks, we'll call it all said and done. And if you already have a USB-C iPad and you want a little bit larger screen to use as a camera monitor, this is a great option. You save yourself a bunch of money, it's plug and play. I'm using it right now when I'm looking down, I'm looking at the iPad. I need to get it, you know, like up here. <laughs> I need to get a little bit higher without being in the frame. Uh, but for purposes of this video, I wanted to keep things a little bit simple. So I've played around with this for a little bit and I think it's definitely a better option than spending, even if you find a cheap camera monitor or you're trying to buy an Atomos Ninja used, those are still in the hundreds of dollars, you know, anywhere from 150 to 500, you could find a true external monitor. And most of them are going to be five inches or less, but they do have some of those additional features that I talked about. For me, this stopgap solution is actually just fine. So let me know if you've tried this out, if it works for you. Do you have another solution on how to get a little bit bigger camera monitor for a very small price? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Until next time, see ya.